How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm in my car because I've been all over the place. Oh, look, feathers. A gift from Queen. Um, anyways, um, yeah, this week, uh, what I'm doing is I'm finishing up my client's leg. And what we're doing is doing the little, the back of his leg. And it's a small little filler that we got to do. Uh, but the outside of his leg, it's been healed for the, it's been healed for probably two years now. And uh, the inner part has been healed for I think four months so I like the way everything's healing his skin is glowing so I'm excited and for everyone who speaks Spanish para la gente que habla español desafortunadamente esta semana no puede agregar subtítulos porque he estado por todos lados ha estado la verdad ocupado y tratando de, de relajarme también balancear balance es muy importante entonces les debo subtítulos en español y les debo un video en español entonces para la próxima semana se los, se los debo. Um, so anyways, let's get this day started. So what we have here in a wireless machine called the Soldier Machine. And I want to send a huge shout out to Ambition for sending me this wireless machine. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, try it today. What I'm finishing up today, uh, it's a whole leg sleeve. And we have this gap in the back of his, uh, on the back of his thigh. On the, on the back of his thigh. <laughs> it's too early for this. <laughs> So my client doesn't skip leg day <laughs> and um, we have this gap on the back of his thigh. Damn, that's like a tongue twister, bro. I can't even say that. Now we have this gap on the back of his leg that we have to finish up and yeah, we're going to go ahead and unbox it. Let's see. Ooh. Nice. Ambition rotary battery pen tattoo oh i'm excited it's like a new toy it's like getting a new toy <laughs> that's what it, yeah it's like christmas it feels like christmas today oh i like the box look at this box it's clean it's clean huh i like it very fancy I like the presentation nice here you go ambition has a little bit of uh, instructions here on how to use it and uh, their Instagram, boom. Oh, it's nice, it's nice. So they have a little cable here for you to charge your battery. There you go. So, oh, nice. So what you can do is in case your battery is uh, not charged, you can always switch to this and switch to a cable. So it has the option. You never know. Some of us can forget to charge our batteries. So that's helpful for sure. But I definitely like the battery because I hate cables. The weight feels good. I'm not going to say it's the lightest machine, but I don't, I don't really mind if it's a light machine or a heavy machine doesn't make a difference for me but what matters for me is the way it hits that's the only thing that um that it's important for me the way the machine hits and at what voltage because i like tattooing at 5.0 as a lot of you know and even if i can go lower than that that's even better so i'm gonna put this to charge and uh, and i'm excited to use this Thank you guys again for sending me this amazing machine and we're going to try it out today. Test. Alrighty then. So the concept that we're gonna be doing is, how would you call it? As a Roman warrior, yeah, that's a, a Spartan. No, that's a movie. <laughs> 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 that's the movie. A gladiator. There you go. That's not what I was looking for. It's too early, man. What time is it? Like 9 a.m. <laughs> it's too early for this. A gladiator. So um, the space that he has here is pretty awkward because it's not really center right on the back of the thigh. It's a little bit more like in the inner 
side of his leg. My goal is for the face to land right next to uh, Cleo here. Boom. And then angle it to where the armor lands right here along with the belt buckle here. If you skip leg day, this wouldn't be happening right now. <laughs> How much you squat right now? 500? Oh, you can squat me like four times. <laughs> you, I'm your warm up. That's what. <laughs> oh hell no. And uh, most likely, I'm gonna be tattooing his butt cheek. So. Um, So I like where the face landed. I don't like where the armor landed. Okay, here we go. That's good enough. Actually, I think I'm just gonna like mirror it. That way it's facing this way. That will make a lot more sense. Yes, sir. All right, pause. Oh, and we're back. We are back. Whew, there you go. Gonna finish this up right here. Boom, boom. So, like I mentioned in my last videos, I uh, what lets me know what's the right voltage for me is the way it feels on my hand, the vibration. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do, and um, I'm gonna start with my 27 curve mag. So right now I'm gonna put it down to 5.0. I don't know if you can see that. 5.0. And I was surprised that as soon as I, I put the battery to charge and it was almost fully charged. So I was like, that is, that is freaking sick. Oh, and it tells you for how many minutes you've been using it. What? That is awesome. This is, this is just, this is cool. All right, here we go. Let's start on this bottom part. You ready, Sam? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Okay. It packs in easy. So it doesn't go lower than, than 5.0, which I don't mind. As long as it can go down to 5.0, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I like how consistent it feels. It's very, very firm. It's not causing trauma to the skin. And it's, it's hidden because there is machines out there that at 5.0, it just doesn't pack. Now I'm gonna use the liner on the buckle. Bell buckle. I'm saying it right, right? Bell buckle. <laughs> this is a nine round liner, still running it at 5.0. A lot of texture here, so let's see. The way it lines, it just goes right in. So I like that. When it comes down to doing texture, it does run a little bit faster than what I was expecting, which is not bad. Uh, but if I was to compare it to the flux, the flux is a little bit slower. And this one is it's a little bit faster. It almost feels like a 5.5, .5, the way it's, it's, it's hidden right now. It's 
size. Just going in doing scribbles like I usually do. And if you're new to the channel, this is, it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I believe I do. <laughs> it might look messy. <laughs> it might look messy, but I'm doing something. <laughs> Trust me. And if you've been here for a while, drop a comment and let everybody know that this technique right here is the real deal. <laughs> Welcome the new subscribers. Let them know to try this. Oh yeah, that's true, the meticulous gang. <laughs> A meticulous member. <laughs> if you have an idea, drop a comment. Let me know. Let's make a name. Let's create a name for this club. It packs it in so easy though. It just goes right in. Effortless. Effortless. Look at this. Look, one pass. Boom, boom, boom. And this is all real time, so... Uh, by the speed that I'm moving, I'm really liking it. And all I'm using here is just solid black. I'm not applying any grays yet. His skin is helping me a lot to create those different tones and, te and textures. More contrast on the bottom. Give it that extra, extra. There you go. If I notice anything that needs to be uh, explained, I'll stop, I'll stop and I'll start recording so I can kind of uh, give you guys a little bit more information about it. But as far as everything else, it looks like pretty self-explanatory. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> What's the worst part of your leg that you feel like, you know what, this hurts? Uh, I'd say when you're doing my inner thigh for Medusa, once you got like really up there with the snakes. Oh yeah, yeah. When you were basically in my crotch tattooing. <laughs> that, that was pretty bad. I was hella close. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. <laughs> but that's what it takes to get a false lead. Full sleeve. I keep. I don't know. I had a couple comments saying that it's not a leg sleeve because it's not an arm. Sock. <laughs> so they're saying it's a. It's a. Call my it's a leg legging. A legging. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like sleeve is just more familiar with people. So when you hear sleeve, you're like, all right, he has a whole cover. Thing yeah, yeah. I mean, if we wanted to change it, what would we change it to? I mean, what what do you call one side of your pants? Pant. One pant? Pant. <laughs> <laughs> I will pant. I have one, half a pant. One half a pant. What I like about this machine is that it tells you how long you've been going at it and it says an hour and 34 minutes. How dope is that? That is so sick.
Yeah, it feels weird, but like it's like it doesn't hurt. It just feels weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sure you'll find like a super tender spot here in a couple minutes. Like once I'm sitting here, like oh yeah, it's not that bad. Did you ever imagine that you were gonna get your butt cheek tattooed? Mm -mm. I also didn't imagine I'd wake up at six thirty for a tattoo of one minute. We were here Makes for years of five. I think this has been the most enjoyable part of the tattoo. <laughs> Not good one. Oh. I'm mad. Now you know you can get the whole thing tattooed. You can get the whole cheeks. Both cheeks, bro. Double cheeked up. Yeah. Double cheek. The added cheeks. So we are almost done with the whole project here. And I want to spend a little bit of time talking about... Oh, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about how I'm going to do the little textures inside the helmet here. So what I'm going to be using is my, uh, let's see, my nine round liner with a voltage of 5.0. And um, I'm going to start with my solid black first and go in. Don't be scared. Just go at it. Boom. Just go at it. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I'm going... I'm going in. <laughs> there you go. Obviously, it's been a couple hours now. It's been about four hours, and um, yeah, I mean it's it's definitely painful in the back of the thigh, but um, all I'm doing here is just scribbling, going back and forth, doing circles, doing X's, dots, lines everywhere and slowly fading it out. See that? One more time. There you go. Once I'm done with the texture, I'm gonna clean up the lines. But right now I'm focusing just on doing the texture. As I'm doing it, I'm building up my uh, textures of the helmet, so I'm kind of seeing where it looks better and where I should add more contrast or my grays. I am going to be adding grays, but just not yet. Try to make it look like has been through a lot. That's my goal. Like it's been through some wars. So now I'm gonna dip it in my gray, medium gray, and start going over my black. So now that I see it's a little bit too bright, so I'm just gonna go back to my black and just really quick, just kind of give it that extra, extra, extra texture.
thank you for coming back and watching this brand new video i really appreciate it and uh my final thoughts about this machine is that it's a great machine i really liked it uh for artists who are already experienced and they've been tattooing for a couple years now i'm pretty sure you guys have you know you guys are picky about certain things as far as for me the only thing that i'm picky about is uh the way it hits on skin uh the way it hits the skin at a low voltage that's the most important thing for me uh, i don't really care about the weight i don't really care how big it is uh but i'm sure some of you might might be looking at those little features as like a negative or a plus there are three things that i really like about this machine and that is one it hits the skin at a low voltage number two the battery lasts for a long time i mean I think this battery can last probably like 12 hours or 15 because uh, I was I was I tattooed for five hours and it, I was I didn't even use half of the battery I was barely on the first bar and there's four bars so five hours in first bar yeah I, it's gonna it's gonna last for a while so I really like that because you don't need two batteries unless some of you are tattooing for more than 15 hours which I don't think that's healthy at that point you know just split it in two but that's just personal opinion obviously um and the last thing that i really like about this machine is the the price when i went to see how much this machine was i was impressed based on just using the machine i would assume that it's, a, it's more expensive but i feel that this is great this is a great thing for artists who are you know are starting to tattoo and they're looking for a, a, a good quality machine but they're also on a budget i think this is great because you're going to be able to have a good machine and for a low price this is great for artists who are starting to tattoo and want to have professional equipment but also they're not there yet where they can just throw a thousand dollars i also believe that investing is really good for your career if this is something you want to do investing is the number one thing you know like let's just say you have a huge family let's just say you have a whole bunch of bills and it is really tight for you and you're in a situation when, when you can't just throw a thousand dollars you know uh other than that thank you guys for coming back i really appreciate it i'm gonna leave the link in the description in case any of you is interested in buying this machine so if you're a tattoo artist i hope you learned something from this video and if you're a tattoo enthusiast i hope you were entertained thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week peace